All right. So finally, after 11 days of not eating food and 24 hours of not drinking any water, I'm finally going to break my fast. So I'm going to take you through what I'm going to do, what I'm going to cook, how I'm cooking it, and finally you'll get to see me eat the food. So watch and enjoy. And yeah, feel free to put the comments below. Let's start. This is what I am going to be using for breaking my fast. Also, sorry, I just have one hand because I'm holding the phone. So this is fork. See fork joints. Oh, this is fork, and this one is the soup. Okay, and yes, there is another soup. And as you can see, all the white stuff that is there at the top is fat. So I'm going to be putting this. I can't, uh, you know, cut it with one hand. So obviously, I can't show you. I'll show you through another camera. So pork, soup, and these are the ingredients. And also the butter that is going to be put into a big container. And I'm going to start to boil. So enjoy watching the process. So as of now, the pork is cooking here. You can see the pork joints and the soup. So I've just kept it for steaming. So this is what is going to happen. This will be butter, which I'll use later. So for now, let it boil. Let's keep it. Maybe we have 20 minutes or half an hour. Okay, so now that this dish of mine is boiling. Okay, you can see boiling. Okay, I'm going to let it boil for some time so that the juice comes out from the joints. And I'm going to make it more fat oriented because fat is healthy. So you can see this large slab of butter. Now, generally, people think I will have a small, but I'm actually going to have almost half and if required I'm going to put the full one so first I'll put half and that is where I, I cut okay I'm going to cut it right in the center okay and then I open this okay so I opened it keep keep it aside and now this butter slab we need to take this out oh. You do it with one hand. Okay. And see this butter is going in this. Okay. A nice large slab of butter. Okay. So now it will cook. And I'll put this. And then this other piece of butter, I do not know. We I do not want to use it. I'll keep it at the side. I'll keep it in the freezer. So until then, let's see with this. How does it go? Okay, so it seems everything is spilling over. So I need to reduce the heat and let some steam out. I can smell the butter. So the butter you can see is not dissolved. So I'll cover it. See the butter? Yeah. So let it dissolve for some time. I'll put it on very low fire so it can continue cooking. So it's boiling, boiling, boiling. So I want the heat to really remove the juice, you know, uh, all the healthy stuff from this pork. All right, so now I'm going to stir this pot. And let's see. Has the meat separated, which was frozen? No, it is still kind of together. So I'll have to let it boil. Because I put it uh, in the freezer, right? So it's still kind of hard. So 
as you can see all the poke joints you can see this for some of you it may look disgusting but it actually has a lot of vitamins minerals it's actually good for the body and it helps recover the body really really fast and if you're a non vegetarian you would really appreciate uh, pakistani muslims and all that obviously they don't eat pork but they eat paya which is goat's hooves one of the most amazing delicacies so mm, you can ask any of your pakistani muslim friends what is paya they will tell you so let it boil for some time i will come back afterward okay it's still cooking and now i'll stir it a bit and see what difference does it show okay the joints are well separated i think now it's nearly ready now i'll get the container ready so that i can take it to where i'm going to eat my food yes okay come on this so these are the weapons i'm going to use to assault this wonderful soup i've taken the see through so you can see when i'm eating it soup is going to be kept here and yes i'm going to cover it with this so obviously with one hand i cannot take this soup and do all the work so let me transfer the you know contents from there to here and take all this to my you know my studio so that i can eat food so let us start now so i have poured the soup into this not much because obviously i have to see how much i can eat I'll close this and now i'm going to take all this to my room so let me take it and then we'll start the video again